There are three main types of deformities in the lumbar spine that are usually mechanical in nature. The first one that you don't see very commonly at all is a lordosis or lordotic deformity when the person is stuck in extension. In that case, the person's arched backwards and it's very difficult or impossible for them to go forwards. Those people, like I said, are very rare. I've yet to come across one in my career, although I've had colleagues talk about seeing them in their clinics. In that case, in the case of a lordotic deformity where the person is extended, the treatment that we would investigate first likely is flexing them. So restoring their neutral spine by moving in the opposite direction of the deformity. Typically we would start with flexion on the back, lying on the patient's back, bringing the knees to the chest gently in an effort to flex the lumbar spine, again, restoring mechanics to normal. There are other ways, but that would be the one I would likely investigate first with most patients in that situation. Secondly, patients can have a kyphotic or flexion-based deformity where their spine is stuck in flexion. Those would be a lot more common than the lordotic example. Mostly people do a lot more flexion activity, so that would make it more common. In those cases, we are looking to go into extension as the first line of investigation to restore normal mechanics to the lumbar spine. If someone's stuck in kyphosis and flexion, I would typically have them lie on their stomach, and if they cannot get flat into a neutral position on the table, which would be likely, I would place pillows under the lumbar spine, under the abdomen, to the point that they're accommodated enough to be tolerating that position, and then gradually over time, taking pillows out until we can get to neutral, and then going into a press up to get to full extension. Again, first line of investigation to restore normal mechanics for someone who is stuck forward. Thirdly, is what we call a lateral shift, where the person is stuck to one side or the other. We name it by the side that the shoulders are going to, but those patients have a lateral deformity, and typically the first line of investigation is side gliding or a manual shift correction. Side gliding, like in the other two examples, is going the direction opposite of the deformity. So if the person is shifted with the shoulders to the left, I'm going to investigate pushing the pelvis in a way that the shoulders go to the right and vice versa. Typically against the wall, if side glide is not the right movement for that particular patient, we have other movements that we would investigate, including manual shift correction and standing, or possibly flexion and rotation, or extension in a side glided position, also known as, also known as extension with hips off center. There are possibly other deformities of the lumbar spine. Of course, I've never seen a pure kind of rotational deformity, but those are the three that we readily identify. And you can see observationally if the person is stuck in one of those positions. Another corroborating factor, of course, would be if the person says, I cannot move in the other direction, or all motions are quite limited except for the one that they're stuck in. So those can be kind of more pronounced mechanical deformities, mechanical derangements in the low back that take more time than people who are not stuck in a deformity, but they're usually resolvable. The, the biggest piece is to identify them, understand that they may take time, and know which direction you really have to go into first, to investigate first, to try to reverse the deformity and get the spine back to a neutral position ultimately restoring full painless motion in all four main planes of the lumbar spine. That is full painless flexion going forward, full painless extension going backward, and full and pain-free side glides going both left and right.